Hello everybody, I'm Ranger Tabitha. Today's story is a hole in the bucket. The fig trees in the rainforest were covered in fruit. The figs were purple and soft. Look at all those juicy figs, said Blink. They look delicious, I said. I think we should pick some. We should tell the other rangers and fetch some buckets, said Blink. All of us can pick figs today. And then we can eat them, I said. All of the rangers gathered around the fig trees and began to fill buckets with ripe figs. Let's see who can pick the most, said Snapper. That sounds like fun, said Blink. The others agreed. We all continued to pick the ripe figs. I'm going to pick the most, said Snapper. Not if I can help it, said Toko. Oh dear, said Bronte. I don't know if I can keep up, but I'll try. I'm going to get more than anyone else, said Blink. We'll see about that, I said with a smile. The rangers plucked the figs as fast as they could. It was fun to pick fruit in the sunshine. My bucket is getting heavy, said Toko. Ours are too, said Bronte and Blink. Mine's not, said Snapper. Why, it's as light as when I started. Oh dear, cried Bronte. Look at your bucket, it's empty. Snapper glanced at his bucket. It had an enormous hole in the bottom. There's a hole in my bucket, cried Snapper. There wasn't a single fig inside his bucket. Look behind you, said Blink. Snapper looked behind. A trail of freshly picked figs were on the ground. They had dropped through the hole in the bucket, one by one. We must fix it, I said. But how, said Snapper. Toko tapped his wing against his head while he thought. Chewing gum, Toko finally said. We need chewing gum. I have some in my pocket, I said. Chew it until it's soft and sticky, said Toko. I popped a piece of chewing gum in my mouth and chewed. We also need a fig leaf, said Toko. Bronte fluttered over to a branch and plucked a big green leaf. Perfect, said Toko. He took the chewing gum, which was now soft and sticky, and the leaf. He stuck them together over the hole in Snapper's bucket. You are clever, Toko, said Snapper. He held the bucket in his hands and grinned. That will help to keep my figs inside the bucket. Snapper immediately started to pick more figs. When everyone's buckets were full, they sat down and had a picnic. They broke the figs open. They were juicy and pink inside. These are the sweetest figs I've ever eaten, said Snapper, and everyone agreed. And that's the end of the story. Thanks for joining us. Bye, everyone.